got a problem here. This is a war I'll need an army. Or a really good team. One man might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. Shepard remains our best hope. Commander, just like old times, huh? Mass Effect 2 is a continuation of the incredible space offer we started with Mass Effect 1. Everything that's on this game is just light years ahead of what we did last time. There is a non-zero probability of error. Then blow them up. It's got great story, it's got action. It's fantasy, it's fun. Hey, I'm talking to you. Sexy. I settled for nothing but the best. The bar has been raised for Mass Effect 2. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Mass Effect 2 is a darker story. It's a lot more personal. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. You're going to um, find some things out that are going to be a little shocking to you. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. It's about Commander Shepard really trying to figure out what's going on in the universe. What is that? Run! Human colonies are actually disappearing, and they're not sure why, if it's tied to the, the Reapers. No one can hide. The Seekers find you. It has something to do with this new force in the galaxy. My god, I think it's a collector. You have to gather a, a band of some of the most badass mercenaries across the galaxy. Shepard, I thought you were dead. To, to help you defeat this, this threat to all organic life, and it's, it's a huge epic challenge. That's what makes a great team story, is you bring all these disparate characters together, this kind of motley crew, and then you let them have at each other. Humanity's place in the galaxy is stronger than ever, and still it's not enough. The real thing about the game that characterizes Mass Effect is an incredible sense of scale. What we want to do is really expand the universe, take you to more worlds, more cultures. There's just so much more at stake. You're seeing things and fighting things on a much larger scale. I think people are just going to be uh, blown away by some of the, the, the great places that you get to go and explore. What are you looking at? The man whose day I'm about to ruin. Uh, uh, I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you something. Lots of cool stuff to investigate, so poke around all the nooks and crannies, you're gonna have a great time playing it. One of the special things about Mass Effect 2 is that our characters, uh, especially the team that you're putting together, are some of the most distinct and varied characters we've ever put into a game before. Garrus, what are you doing here? A little target practice. They're very specific and have very individual personalities. Now we've got Grunt, uh, who's just, you know, violent. And you've got someone like Jack, who's a bit of a psychopath. That's where I killed my first man. Real badass in the game. You can actually see the scars on her arms where she's been experimented on. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. Thane, who's this mysterious assassin and obviously uh, very good at it. <laughs> His motivations are a little unclear too, which I think makes him very interesting. Commander Shepard, 
Uh, the, the elusive man. He's the head of, of uh, Cerberus. We don't know a lot about him, and we don't know if we can trust him. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. It's hard to think of any character I've played that's close to this guy. Unnecessary precaution. Because of the ambiguity of his morality, I wouldn't trust him all that much. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. You survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. Commander Shepard is, of course, a hard-bitten, ruthless individual. She'll do whatever has to be done to do the right thing. Perhaps he's a kind-hearted, nice individual who helps people out when he can. What are you doing back here? I'm with the Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports and storage areas around here. What? I should go. If I had a nickel for every time I said I should go, I wouldn't have to work anymore. <laughs> I should go. I should go. I should go. I should go. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! And leather seats! He's a pilot through and through. I mean, that's, that's who he is. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Commander, can we shut this thing off? Joker's only romance is with the computer? Thanks, dude. There's nothing wrong with off-duty distractions, though some of your extranet bookmarks are technically illegal in council space. And I've been jockeying to get screen time with Trisha Helfer <laughs> for quite a while now. It's sad that our, our first coupling is in a video game where she's a disembodied voice and I'm a guy with brittle bones. You may have suffered a number of stress fractures. That's what pills are for, Edie. She is so my mom. It's a lot of really interesting personality types that are uh, really ready to, to tear things up in battle. What are you doing here? First we're gonna kill you, then we'll see. Mass Effect is designed as a trilogy from the start, and it's actually woven together as a trilogy in a way that no other game is. There's a real transition from Mass Effect 1, where Mass Effect 1, you're new on the galactic stage, humans are kind of unknown, There's, you gotta, you're kind of in this establishing situation. By the end of Mass Effect 1, you basically saved the galaxy, proven that humans are a valuable member of the galactic races, and then Mass Effect 2 starts. It's almost like the Empire Strikes Back of the Mass Effect trilogy. It's, it's a dark second chapter, and it's, you know, it's, it's, you've got to make a lot of challenging decisions in the game, but it's all for the greater good. You know, you've seen enough of the galaxy to know that it's not, everything's not all it seems. There's a dark underbelly you have to deal with, and you're going places and doing things that you never would have imagined in the first one. So we had to give you more environments, really take the characters to the next level. We really improved the lighting. We focused on the action, improved, like, the AI, the cover, the overall combat experience. This might sting a bit! Also, I mean, the level of customization for things like armor and the way you look is, is just over the top. But this is stuff that you know, really, really changes the gameplay experience. You really create your own game. What we were able to do with Mass Effect 2 is improve every aspect of the gameplay. So the second you pick it up, you know that it feels better, it just works better, and you're having so much more fun. What we really want to aspire to is, is creating something that you know, surpasses movies in terms of its ability to engage players and make people want to live in this world. And we think we've done that with Mass 2. A game like Mass Effect 2 is just really unprecedented. There's nothing like it. There's no comparison point that has the, the tactical depth and the shooting controls, but also the rich RPG systems, the characterization, the emotionally engaging narrative, the, the RPG progression and customization, exploration and combat. And it's a complete package. It's just over the top amazing.